This video is going to show you how you can connect and use your Google Docs account with Edmodo. Now first thing I have discovered, if you're working in the new version, which we are encouraging you to since it will soon be the only version, you will see icons instead of words. Now the problem is there's a little bug with connecting your Google Docs in the new version. You can connect, but you have to be in the old version, but it's still then your Google Docs will show up in the new version. Confused already? Well, don't worry. Just follow along with me. So if you're in the new version, you see icons instead of words. So you need to go back to the old version to connect your account. All you have to do is click on account and switch back to the old version. Are you sure you want to switch back? Yes. Don't worry, it's real easy to switch over to the new version. If you can't remember, I'm going to show you here. But I learned the hard way by trying to connect that it didn't exactly work. So now we're in the old version. And if you're saying, wait, I was in the old version. Well, you were in the old version if you saw the words instead of the icons. And then you didn't have to switch back. So once you're in the old version, whether you started in it or you had to switch back to it, you're going to click on the word library. And when you click on the word library, there are three views you have of your library if you did not notice this before. Once is the library, and this is your Edmodo library. This is any documents you have uploaded into Edmodo yourself. And your library is only yours. No one else can see your library. Like we talked in the library and folders tutorial, the only way is you can create folders, put documents from your library in them, and share them with other groups. The second view of libraries attached to posts. Anything that anyone has ever posted to a group that you're in or directly to you, anything they attached will appear and attached to post. Now I know it's like really crazy and you'll probably have a lot of things, but what if there was a post and you remember there was an attachment and you can't find a post? You can search through in here and find the post. But let's get back to Google Docs. All you have to do is click on Google Docs. And if a bunch of documents appear in here, you've already connected, but I think you'd remember, all you have to do is cl click Connect with Google Docs. Now, if you are already logged in to your Gmail account through Adams 12, you will get this message, Edmodo is requesting the permission to. Now, if this is not the first screen that comes up and there is a login screen, you're going to log in using your universal ID like you're logging into Gmail and then you'll get the message about allowing access. So my recommendation is log into your Adams 12 Gmail account or your Adams 12 Google account first before you switch because it'll be some less steps now. So you're going to click on allow access. Once Edmodo has finished accessing Google Docs, it'll just take you back to your library. And watch when I click on Google Docs. It'll load, and voila, here's all my docs in Google. Now you might say, oh God, how do I organize these things? Well, let's flip back to the new version of Edmodo because that's going to be the future version so I, I can show you how you can use Google Docs in the new version. If you're not sure about how to switch back to the new version or to switch the new version the first time at all, if you click on Home, a button will appear on the right side saying switch to the new version. Right here, switch to the latest version. Give a click and it says update me to the latest version. It will update your students as well, but the student version is so similar. Don't worry about your kids getting confused. They're very adaptable. So I switch to the new version. And when it's done, the way you can check is you have icons instead of words. And if you're not familiar with the new version, you can watch the videos about the differences between the old and new version and Edmodo Basics in the new version to get yourself comfortable. Well, let's go back to library. And library is now an icon of books. So if I click on library, it'll load my library. And you have the same things as in the old version library. Library, attached posts, and here's Google Docs. If I click on Google Docs, it's going to bring up my Google Docs and you might say, well, how am I supposed to find something? They're all just all my docs in this big giant window. And if you scroll down, look how many more docs keep going more. It'll be my hundreds of docs. Well, right up here is Google folders. And if you click on it, 
These are the names of all my folders, or as Google used to call them, collections, but they've recently switched to calling them folders. So I can click on a certain folder, my Edmodo folder, and find my Google Docs that are just related to Edmodo, and it says right here. So you can search through your stuff if you've organized through folders. One thing that you need to know when you're using Google Docs is when you click on a document and you want to use it over here, you've got a couple choices, download or Google Docs. You do not want to click download because if you download the doc, it's going to download a copy of that file and you're going to work on it and then you're going to expect that the changes here are going to appear in your Google Docs and they're not because you've actually taken a copy out of Google Docs and brought it down to your computer. In order to work on something in Edmodo and have the changes show up when you look at them in your Google Docs account or your Google Drive account, is just click on Google Docs. It's then going to bring you to that page just like it's going to look like when you're in Google. So any changes that you make here will also be reflected in your document in Google Docs because you are working in the same live document. And that's pretty much it. So remember, if you want to connect for right now because there's some bug in the new version of Edmodo, if you want to connect your Google Docs account, go to account, or if you're in the old version, you can just connect it there. But make sure you're in the old version. And the way you can tell that you're in the old version is you don't have icons at the top. You have one or two icons. But mostly, it's words. So you've got the words. Go to your library and click on Google Docs. It will say connect to Google Docs and that's what you do. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to send me an email or post me a question in Edmodo.